Hi there, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since you last saw my face here on YouTube and I have a lot to share with you all but if you saw my last video that I posted just a few days ago you'll know that I had a very very exciting update that I just had to share with you all before I posted this update so I thought it was just right that I sat down and just had a little chat and shared some updates and what's been going on in my life so far um, just to refresh you all but I just, I really couldn't wait to share that video, so yeah, typical K, okay. um, but I'm really excited, I'm really happy that that video is out there, and I'm really looking forward to putting more content out there too. It just felt weird to have had six months off YouTube and then jump straight back in to, you know, my first video and not apologising or explaining where I've been and things, so that's what this video is. So this video is really for the OG subscribers, the people that have been here for ages and who've been messaging me and supporting me and encouraging me to come back to YouTube, so this is for you guys and this is to say a humongous massive thank you. Thank you so much for all the support and just for the love and kindness and compassion and understanding of why I've been away and the excitement now that I'm back. So let's jump right in, shall we? Oh gosh, this is going to be a bit of a story. <laughs> so as if you've been following me for a while, you know that I came back from New Zealand after being away for a year and a half back in, it was October, so the beginning of October. And life was quite a whirlwind <laughs> over the last I guess it's nearly a year now, we're in September, aren't we? So, um, yeah, I got a job in December and the job was working nights. And in my wisdom, <laughs> I thought that would be a really, really good idea, a really quick, easy way to save lots and lots of money, which was my main goal back then. I thought if I work 30 hours, but I do nights, I don't have to work full time, like officially full time, I don't have to work 40 hours, but I could earn just as much money as if I was doing. So that's what I did. And to be honest, I did enjoy the job. I thought it was all right. Um, the hours were weird. It took me a long time to get used to it. Um, but by the end of doing that routine, um, I was absolutely exhausted. And my heart goes out to anybody out there who does nights long term because it really broke me. <laughs> so in between all of that, I got really, really ill back in January. So, you know, just massive flu-like symptoms just felt awful for about it must have been more than two weeks, nearly a month of just feeling vile and just literally getting up, going to work, going back home, going to sleep, getting up for like half an hour before work, going to work, coming home. And I don't know why I didn't take any time off, but I just didn't at that time. I was just like robot mode. <laughs> it's just like work towards your goals and just be quiet and get on with it. I'd only been in the job for a month, so I didn't really feel like I could take the time off, which looking back now was crazy. Um, but anyway, that's what I did. So, having done that job, um, it I think it opened my eyes to how hard I was working and how passionate I was to save so much money because the main goal for this year was to buy a house um, and in the end that is what I have achieved but gosh it's been some work to get to this point. So carried on working um, in February. I Put down an offer for well me and Don we put down an offer for a house and we fell in love with this house it was amazing we went to view it we put an offer in that afternoon it was nerve-wracking the whole experience was horrendous I felt sick the whole time <laughs> I was on nights at the time and so we put the offer in the night before they left us hanging overnight and I was due to be at work the next night so I got up super early she said she'd let us know the next day so I was up at eight o'clock um having just you know I was supposed to be asleep basically, that was my, you know, my night time um, and I woke up and I was just waiting all day long, they left me hanging until half past five which is what time the office closed and then they let us know that we did get the house but by that point I was exhausted and due to go to work at nine o'clock that night so that was a very fun time. <laughs> Anyway, I will, you know, share more of this story, this whole crazy story with the houses um, in the future. So that house, unfortunately, after it being, you know, the love of my life, it was going to be perfect, it's going to be amazing, it fell through. And that was due to lockdown. So lockdown has caused chaos for a lot of people, it's caused a lot of heartbreak and just a lot of disruption and it caused so much disruption in my life. On my already fragile mental state, lockdown just really destroyed me. <laughs> It was just too much. I was just over it, you know, just uh, just be, not knowing what was going to happen with the house. 
and then finally coming out of lockdown at the end and the lady finally backing out and saying that she wasn't going to sell to us anymore was just the cherry on top of the cake so by that point I've moved in with Dom and his family just to make things a little bit easier in my own life I didn't want to put my nana at risk um, with everything that was going on in the world and so yeah I moved back well I didn't move back I moved in with Dom's parents but moved back in with Dom and that was you know that was really really good for my mental health too um <laughs> It's just such a whirlwind of a story. So during that time, um, I really struggled with my fatigue. I had chronic fatigue and finally was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I think a lot of this was triggered from being ill earlier in the year and then maybe working nights just didn't help anything either. So really been struggling with my own physical and emotional health. So that's been a lot. Um, and I just felt like nurturing myself really and just taking time to just be a normal human being for a while because for the last five years I've posted my life on YouTube which is crazy and amazing because when I look back I've got all those memories and oh, I don't know it just makes me happy and I'm kind of sad that I've missed a big six month chunk out of my life but let's be honest not much has happened in the last six months um, in most people's lives because we've just all been sat at home or at work in my case. Um, yeah so anyway we put in an offer on a new house and that was in March I think and it was accepted and it took 13 weeks to go through and that was due to everything going on in the world and the million backlogs that the council had with their searches so 13 weeks later here we are finally <laughs> moved into my house and just everything feels settled I kept saying to myself when I'm in the house when I'm in the house this 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 and I thought to myself are you just making excuses like is anything gonna actually change when you move into the house but honestly now I'm here and just like yeah this is exactly what I needed I just needed space for myself and just that peace and tranquility that comes with your own space and um, the ability to be creative, to be flexible and to have my own routine. So I've also cut down hours at work so that I can focus more on YouTube because this is a huge part of my life. Working for myself has been one of my biggest goals for the longest time. I still have a very successful Etsy store going on. Thank you all to you who've, you know, supported me throughout that journey as well. I'll leave all the links below if you want to have a nosy because just before lockdown I did start a second, um, not YouTube channel, Etsy store and it's been really wildly successful and I'm so proud and so happy and excited to share it with you all. So that one's selling ethically sourced crystals and gemstones so if you want to check that out please do. And it's just nice to be able to share one of my passions, one of my many passions uh, with you all. <laughs> so yeah, really, I just wanted to share that I'm in a much better place mentally, physically, emotionally, all aspects of life. I'm just feeling good and I'm feeling inspired, which is something that every single creator, YouTuber needs in life. If you lose that spark, that passion, it really is hard. So the reason I posted the other video first was because I edited it and it's the first time I've edited a video in what must be at least six months. And I suddenly was just like, I remember why I do this now, I love it, I absolutely love it, so I was too excited not to share it. <laughs> I do hope that you found value in this video, I hope that you've enjoyed hearing me just chat and um, just have a heart to heart with you all. This is one of the things that I love about YouTube and the community that is we, I guess, we've created here, you know, without you guys interacting with me there's nothing, it's just me posting to a blank wall, so I do always appreciate when you communicate back with me, when you send me comments, and I might not always get to respond or respond as quickly as I like or efficiently as I like, but just know I always read your comments and I always just, I don't know, it just makes my day. There's something about it just, it just makes me happy and I've made so many brilliant friends and, you know, just wonderful people I've met on the internet. It's, it's really amazing. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to say thank you and make sure if you're not subscribed already that you do so. I've got lots more content coming your way, I'm really excited. <laughs> if you've got any video ideas, leave them below because I'm more than happy to add them to my already very long list. Um, I love sharing about intentional living, slow living, conscious living, minimalism, all those things. They're definitely still my cup of tea and I'm really excited to be able to share more home content with you all and to share my life going forward. So thank you so, so much for tuning in to this update. <laughs> I'm so excited to share more with you all. So have a really great day guys and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.